at the end of the day, you know, got to, you know, be more careful out there. Say, is this one of those things that's just about being overly cautious so that you can make it for the long haul? Uh, not really, but still, I still got to put it on film. You know, I don't put bad tape on film, so I got to do me at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever they say, when I when I can come back, you know, I could practice uh, on Tuesday if I wanted to, but got to slow down. You know, you're almost being even more cautious yeah. because of the preseason injury you yeah. tore yourself too last year. Well, did you get the first pick of Kenny, or does seven on seven not really count? Yeah, it counts. Everything oh, counts. Count. <laughs> hey, I don't yeah, care if it was one on ones. Everything counts. I was gonna say he might have a different answer. <laughs> nah, but, uh, it counts. And he, you know, me and Kenny talk all the time too, yeah. so he know he know. I know what type of guy he is. He don't want to throw him at all. So yeah. Atlanta was just saying he's been so careful with the ball this camp. Very. Too, so. You know, he's been doing great, great. And I, it's hard. You yeah. know, from last year to this year. You know. Seeing the whole transition and him moving me off the line back there at free safety, so I see a big difference this year from him. One of the things that George said that he noticed was different about Kenny is his composure in this camp. How have you kind of seen that? He, he got that leadership now, man. He's just he's taking over. <laughs> Kenny gonna be Kenny now. That's my boy. He's got a lot of different moving parts in the, in the secondary here. Does that help everybody? I mean, everybody's focused anyways, but does that help everybody kind of focus in even more when you got guys moving around to different spots? I mean, it helps with everything. You know, knowing different positions will keep you on the team too as well. So knowing different positions will help you with your mainly position. You know, knowing what the corners do, knowing what the linebackers do, knowing what the uh, dime do will help you, you know, help you in the long run playing your position because you know where, where your help is, you know where ain't no help is. So it, it helps. How's the process been going for you as far as picking all that up and learning all that stuff? The uh, process has been going good, you know, one day at a time. You know, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Just being out here is a blessing. So, you know, I got injured sometime this year, last year. So, you know, I'm enjoying every moment. And this had this crowd out here and, you know, every day. It's just, like, amazing to me. Uh, but, yeah, it's, once you've been in a place one time, you know, you're real familiar. And the uh, goal is to really help the young guys find stuff and figure out what, what things we have to, to offer them as far as resources, massages, um, needling, you know, and stuff like that. It's different rooms, a bunch of different stuff. On campus, a lot of guys don't know about it, so um, I just try to be a leader in that aspect for sure. What's, what's that dynamic been like this year? You get, I mean, you got basically a whole new room with you and James, basically, back is, is the, uh, in the cornerback room. Mm -hmm. Is it a different dynamic there? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a vet, you know what I mean? I've been in the league for a while now, um, so I have little respect, you know yeah. what I mean? Not as much as Pat Pete, but uh, I mean, obviously the guys respect me. I've been here for a while, uh, playing football at a high level, and so it, it's good to be in a place that that's not my first year here, you know what I mean? So guys can come and ask me football questions. And I want guys to know they can come ask me about life questions too, you know, being just a, a veteran in this, in this position, in this league. Um, I work ethic, how I recover, you know, things like that. Um, you know, I try to make myself available for guys in that regard because I know what it's like to come into the lead. It feels like it was yesterday, but it was five, six years ago. So, um, you know, I just try to tell guys, you know, don't be shy, you know, ask questions um, so you don't have to guess, try to figure out what's what. Are you getting a lot of questions? Or? Um, it depends on the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, it, there's different questions, you know what I mean? There's recovery questions, playbook questions. Um, we've got what's your before practice routine, you know what I mean? So it's just just different things that I know I'd have the same questions about, you know, and I had good leadership when I was in Buffalo with my employer. And so when you have guys to look up to, it definitely sets the room off the right way. And, and then I can ask Pat Pete, you know, who's been in the league for 13 years now, which is unbelievable, still playing at a high level. Um, you know, and it's like he's pouring into me, I'm pouring into the young guys, and so it's just a uh, continued thing. So when you have good leadership in a room like that, it definitely helps the whole room. It's got to be like a, a kind of a cool dynamic that, you know, you, you have a guy like Pat to, to lean on yourself, mm -hmm. and then other guys talking, you know, are, are leaning on you, and it just kind of grows. Is it, it, has it been organic, or uh, uh, yeah, you Pat, have to try to force it? or No, no, you <laughs> never force it, you, especially now when you, you're, you play the same position. Uh, he's one of the guys that has tons of respect from Everybody in the league, you know, he's been playing at a high level. But I told a lot of people, the most important thing is, is the man that he is off the field. I mean, he's so approachable, so easy to talk to. I mean, we both share a passion in golf, so that's super fun. We're definitely planning on playing a little bit here coming up soon. And so, um, this is a guy that you can just talk to about anything. Um, he's married, he has a beautiful family. Guy you just respect that way. 
Um, and then he just comes to work and he's just always dropping nuggets. Um, and so if, if, if you don't pay attention, you'll miss it. And so just having a guy like that in the room is super dope. I feel like he's a Hall of Famer. Come on now. I know. I know. Uh-huh. Just say, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no questions about it. Look at his, his work on and off the field. I mean, he's a legend. It's going to be cool, too, to have a guy in your room that has that kind of, not just respect here, but respect mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I know for me, it was, you know, Tredavis White, who's also a really good corner, all pro corner, um, that I had the chance to look up to in Buffalo for a few years. And I know he'll be a Hall of Famer as well. And so I've been blessed to be a part of some, some good DB's lives, you know what I mean? And they've been able to pour into me, and it's made me the corner that I am today. So I look forward to the season with Pat, um, just his leadership, and just asking him questions about what he sees, and, you know, and studying the game like how he studies it. And hopefully I can be in the same position one day. What have you seen from the, the two young guys, the two rookies? I mean, they're doing a great job. I mean, we just started stay four now, you know what I mean? And but so, they've been, you know, part of this for a while now. And yeah, it, but it's hard in OTAs when you're coming in, you get drafted and you see all the other guys come in and everybody knows the playbook and you're still trying to learn it. And so um, this time we get real settled down and it's just nothing but football. So you can talk about football all day, no outside distractions. And so um, they're doing a good job just coming into it. And this will be the last day without pads and then Put the pads on and kind of have those, you know, uh, adjustments that we have to make, um, you know, and it's football is, is tiring, especially when you go away for camp. Um, but, you know, you can lean on your brothers. And so I tell them to lean on me, ask me a bunch of questions and I try to pour into them. And, you know, I'm starting to just give them goals each and every day. And like, all right, well, let's, let's work, on, work on one thing today. Um, like what kind of goals do you have for yourself? And if they don't have any, I'll give them one. You know what I mean? And kind of just put their leadership with them, knowing that I want the best for them. You know what I mean? And I think. I keep telling people it's it's one of the most unique environments because you're competing for a job, but at the same time you're building chemistry. And I know one day football ends, you know what I mean? And it's about the relationships that you build on and off the field. And so I wish anybody that I play for or play around um, the best in, in life, not just on the field. It's all about trusting your own skills as well, though, right? I mean, yeah. you, know, you, know, you know you're good. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and, and at the same time, like, we, we, we play two different two different skill sets. You got these big corners who um, play a little differently than I play. You know what I mean? And um, and then they want to ask about like how I cover. And I'm like, yo, listen, if I had your length, I'd probably play it like this. So, but you're not a small corner. Absolutely, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> and I didn't think I was until they, these two giants came into the room. And I'm like, yo, these, y'all are huge. Um, so I would just do them nut. Like if I would, if I had your skill set, I would play it like this. You know what I mean? And, not to say we're, we're two different corners, but yeah. they just have a little bit more. You know, each and every year you get different athletes coming into the league. Um, it seems like the corners are just getting bigger and bigger. And I'm like, man, look, back in my day, I mean, we, I came out with like Denzel Ward and Jair Alexander, you know, um, a lot more s- slimmer guys who can just really run. Um, and so it's just, it, the game is changing a little bit. And so this is a little give and take. And so I know more of those guys get comfortable to be able to come into their own just fine. They should be picking your brains or like that. You're a technician, right? I, I try to be. I try to be each and every day. And they, and they see it on film. And so um, it means a lot that they're asking me questions. You know, if I wasn't that good, you know, maybe they wouldn't be asking me as many questions. And so um, I'm always, I feel free to just give away knowledge because one day I won't be in the league and those guys will still be playing. And I want to turn on TV and be like, yo, look, I remember I taught them that back in the day. Um, and he, he surpassed me now. And so it's just good to see guys just coming in the league. They're just hungry for information and knowledge. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Right Probably put the bug in Tomlin's ear about you, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, you know, uh, like I said, he's an elite coach, uh, hands down, great mind, mindset for uh, from a coach, from a, a family man, from just a person. Brian Flores, uh, top of the chain. Obviously, he's not here anymore, but are there any, can you tell that he's left a mark here? Are there anything that you've seen that you're like, oh, wait a minute, Flo did that when I was in Miami or New England? Or anything? I think when you come from organizations that's uh, put together well with a great foundation, I think from any coach that comes in and leaves out that they they grasp uh, little nuggets from, from each other, uh, just like me, myself. Uh, you know, I play with a, a, a lot of different type of linebackers, uh, from the High Tower to the Jamie Collins to, uh, you know, the Jerome Baker's more of an uh, athletic style set uh, backer and just taking different traits from them. You know, I had Calvin Noy to where he, he brings a different type of uh, aspect to the game. So just being here and being able to uh, now, um, you know, see how Cole operate and stuff like that. So, you know, you, you, you kind of, 
tweaky games. You see what, you know, they talked about in Washington when Kyle came from Detroit, what they talked about there. So, you know, you kind of implemented a little, talk, talk to amongst your room. I think the coaches get feedback, and I think that's what make an organization, their foundation even more solid because you know what other teams are thinking, you know how they are operating and whatnot. And, like, I'm pretty sure since, you know, with Flo leaving here, going to Minnesota, if we ever had to play Minnesota, Matt Cannon know, okay, how Flo thinking in certain situations. So you take little nuggets, but, you know, that's down the line stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alanda, you mentioned you're a physical backer. Wow. Yeah. And Tuesday, you get to put on the pads for the first time. Yeah. What that be like for you and what you want to show? Uh, uh, I'm going to just be me. It's eight years, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get to run with Calvin Austin on a real round? Huh? When do you get to run with Calvin Austin on a real wheel round? Whenever he come my way, and then I end up in that position, you know? <laughs> What do you, how do you think he'll do? Huh? How do you think he'll do? I mean, he throw it. I mean, how do you think Calvin will do? Okay. <laughs> he got to get open. Just from being here, man, seeing Kenny, I kind of admire him from a, born, a guy going into his second year. Very porous, uh, show great leadership, great communication on the field. Not afraid to ask questions, not afraid to ask a defense guy, like, why you was there? Yeah. Uh, just trying to figure out, you know, certain things and whatnot. And, uh, you know, uh, from a leadership aspect, I think that's a thing for, for a uh, quarterback, you know, because, uh, I mean, hey, man, the ball in your hand, every play, you know, you're in the center. And, um, you know, uh, Kenny, man, just like I said, great leader. Every day, I'm not trying to speak for Kenny, but I'm pretty sure every day he's just taking it one day at a time, you know, trying to be the best version of himself, just like all of us are each day. Thanks for all the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. What do you feel was your biggest launching point from the stuff you learned in OTAs and minicamp, and where did you feel like you really grew over this last summer? Um, for me, just uh, going going into year three, um, honestly being blessed to be on the same uh, same scheme and everything, same defense uh, scheme, just being able to get more comfortable, uh, kind of be able to to kind of take take my game plan to the next level, being able to to focus on kind of reading the offense more. Uh, you know, game planning for them, being comfortable in my cause, just being able to kind of go out there and uh, just know what each player on defense defense has, you know what I mean, and I um, the responsibility, and just allowing that to help myself to know, I mean, where my help is, uh, and my courage, what this guy's doing, what that guy's doing, just kind of being all I want to court.